Good afternoon, folks. Jordan here at the Nutty Nom Homestead. Today is April 24th, 2023, and today we're going to be discussing how to make a natural organic fertilizer from the weeds in your yard. So, as you guys can see behind me, I've got this uh, bed of lettuce that we've fertilized with nothing but natural organic fertilizers that we make right here on the homestead. This could be our compost tea, this could be our rabbit manure or chicken manure tea, or as I'm going to show you guys today, our weed tea. So all this is, is we're going to take the weeds that we chop out of our yard, out of our garden from around our flower beds and wherever, we're going to soak them in some rainwater to leach out all of the minerals and nutrients, and then we're going to dilute that to water our plants. It's very simple, and I'm going to bring you guys along and show you how we make it start to finish. Okay, so you don't need any special equipment to make this. All you need is a bucket or a container of some sort and something to cut your weeds with and a little bit of rainwater. You guys should be collecting your rainwater anyway, so this is going to put it to good use. What we're going to do is we are going to chop these weeds that we collect here today. We're going to chop them up not too fine, uh, just enough to break up the cells a little bit. We're going to fill this bucket about two-thirds of the way full, and then we're going to cover it with rainwater and let it steep. What this is going to do is it's going to leach out all of the nutrients that was in those, those leaves and those weeds. Some of the nutrients are going to be especially the nitrogen, as well as some of the micronutrients like copper, boron, and sulfur. So, I'm going to find a patch of weeds real quick and I'm going to show you guys how we do this. So I walked around the farm and I found this stand of dock. I believe it is bitter dock, but it's a broadleaf weed that my chickens don't really bother too much. So this is one of our preferred weeds for making this weed tea fertilizer. The nice thing about this dock is you can chop it and it will come again over and over throughout the season. So you can chop this stand down three, four, five times or more throughout the season and make several batches of this fertilizer uh, for your plants. This dock is gonna provide a lot of macro and micronutrients uh, including phosphorus, iron, and potassium. So I'm going to set you guys up here and I'm going to chop a bunch of this up and fill up this bucket. Now I know you guys can't probably see me very well, but you guys can see all this dock out here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up and put it in this bucket. Now you guys saw in real time, it only took me just a couple of seconds to chop enough of these weeds to fill up this, uh, this bucket. I'm going to look around here and I'm going to find a few dandelions and probably throw in a couple of alfalfa cubes just for good measure. But this bucket right here is enough to provide me with another batch of this fertilizer tea. I like to make these every couple of weeks that was so I have fresh fertilizer tea to water my plants with. Alternatively, if you don't have any large amounts of weeds or large stands of weeds in your yard, you can use grass clippings for this exact same thing. Here we have some fresh grass clippings. I'll just go ahead and add these to the bucket as well. This isn't going to hurt, and the more variety that you add in here, 
the more well-rounded your fertilizer is going to be. Now this part absolutely is not necessary, but I do like to do it just to make sure that I get my ratio of water to weeds correct. And now like I said, we have some dandelions, some fresh cut, cut grass clippings, a lot of our dock in here, there's also some plantain. I picked basically anything that was green and I considered a weed around the, the farm. I picked it, chopped it up, threw it into this, this bucket. So now I'm just going to wait and see approximately how much I have. So I don't know if you guys can see this. We've got about two and a half pounds of weeds there. Close to three, two and a half pounds, just depending. So I'm gonna bring you guys in close and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these long leaves some of these are 10, 12, 14 inches long, and I'm just going to top them up into a couple of pieces and fill up my bucket. Now they don't have to be chopped perfectly neat and even or whatnot. All you're doing is trying to break up the cell structures to where the nutrients can leach out easier. And since we added some uh, grass clippings in here, we're not going to have to chop it up. And this goes without saying, y'all be careful when you do this. Okay, so we chopped up all of our, our weeds that we had, and as you guys can see, a lot of these here, they're probably three inches or so in size. Nothing too crazy big. We don't have any whole leaves left. I'm going to pick all these up and get them put back in our bucket. And our bucket was once overflowing, and as you guys can see now, it is just now about two inches below the rim of our bucket, and that's okay. Now, we need to go get some rainwater and get this filled up. So if you guys remembered, we actually weighed this, uh, this bucket of green grass clippings and dock leaves and dandelions and so on and so forth. All of our weights from the yard. They come out to about two pounds, two and a half pounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to add two pounds of water per pound of wheat. That is going to be our, our ratio for us to make our solution. So as you guys can see, I can actually push this down a little bit, and it's going to compact. It's already pretty wet from getting chopped and the, the juices are flowing. So I've got a gallon of water here. It doesn't have to be exact, folks. A gallon weighs about 8 pounds. we got about uh, 2 and a half pounds of weeds in here. I added a little bit more here just a minute ago. So we're going to add a gallon of water, which is about 8 pounds, to about three pounds and change of, of weeds. Now, you guys can get in here with your hands, push this down, and it is going to break down relatively quickly. Now I'm going to put a lid on this, and I'm going to set it out in the sun for a couple of days, and that heat combined with that water is going to really make this go to work. It's almost going to ferment, sort of, where all of those juices out of those uh, those leaves are going to start to start to flow. Everything's going to get wet. This is going to stink, folks. So just be aware of that. You might want to go ahead and put a lid on it. All this is going to break down. The water, the rainwater, is going to leach out 
all of the nutrients that we have collected in these grass clippings. This is how the cycle works. We're going to take the grass clippings that would have been disposed of. We're going to take our weeds that we would have pulled. Make sure that you're using all of this from areas that have not been sprayed by any chemicals. We want no contamination in any of our organic gardening. So this is going to start breaking down over the next couple of days. We're going to let this sit about three weeks. We're going to start about twice a week. And in doing so, we're going to create a thick, dark liquid that we are going to take and mix with rainwater. And I'm going to show you guys this here in just a minute. All right, folks. So we have let this fertilizer tea, the chopped up weeds, rainwater. We had some plantain, I believe. There is uh, some dock chopped up uh, grass clippings. Uh, just all the weeds from around the farm. We've let this sit and ferment for close to, uh, I believe, about, about a month. And uh, what we're going to do here is, I want to show you guys this real quick. You are going to end up with this dark colored tea, if you guys can see that. Now, this stuff is very potent. You don't want to water your plants with this by itself. You want to have it mixed. I highly recommend you mix it a uh, 10 to 1 water to uh, this fertilizer tea method. This is what we typically use on our plants. This is going to be high in nitrogen. It's also going to have a lot of your uh, micronutrients in it as well. I highly recommend you only water about once a week with this. No more because this is pretty powerful. And... Uh, well, I like to mix it, like I said, a 1 to 10, 1 parts of this tea to 10 parts of rainwater. So i got a 5 gallon bucket here, and I'm going to bring you guys in, and I'm going to show you how we do this. Folks, this is about as simple as it gets. Okay, folks, so unfortunately my camera malfunctioned on the last batch, but th we made another batch, and I'll show you how we did this. Same concept, we just chopped up a bunch of our plantain uh, dock leaves more grass clippings just like the last one there's uh, I believe there's some lettuce leaves in here that uh, we let go a little too long so and this got pretty much the same color as the the other one I'd already strained out about a half a gallon not quite or so and as you guys can see I got a bucket of rainwater here that we collected half a gallon to a five gallon bucket of rainwater this is going to be what we water all of our plants with today just about as easy as it gets, folks. Pour this fertilizer tea in there. I'll go ahead and throw that in there, too. It ain't going to hurt anything. So, mix it up a little bit. And that's it. That's all there is to making this fertilizer tea. has a nice amber color to it it's going to be high in NPK do really well with the the micronutrients it's going to give all of our plants a boost I water with this one time a week all of my plants get it so we usually mix this up in 10 gallon batches whenever we actually do the whole garden all right folks here is one of our stands of lettuce and as you can see our fertilizer works pretty good on our leafy greens. We've already picked this twice. We'll pick off maybe one more time. Might just harvest it all this next time. I'm not sure. So, our homemade fertilizer does work pretty good. So that's really all there is to making this fertilizer tea. We just chop up the weeds, add uh, some rainwater that we collected. Uh, you can use uh, city water. I just make sure it's dechlorinated if you can. Uh, let it sit four weeks or so. It does make a difference. The longer you let it sit, it does get a little stronger. This stuff is going to stink uh, the longer you let it set. So unfortunately, I didn't get to show you guys the end product of this last batch because uh, my camera malfunctioned. So I showed you guys partway through uh, a new batch that we'd made. 
Anyway, uh, if you guys like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a message down below. Until next time, get out there and make your own fertilizer. Y'all stay safe.